afraid. I shouldn't wait till I got older. I got a feeling I'm gonna do something bad again. I mean, I mean not bad, but like a lie or something. I'm a, I'm a, but when I want, when I get baptized, I don't want to make any mistakes. Any. Man, of course I'm gonna make. Like, I mean, nobody not perfect, but I'm gonna. I don't want to make no big mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So everybody can swim, right? Yes. <laughs> this is the most memorable night of your life. This is a night that you should remember for the rest of your life. Baptism is nothing but a outward sign of an inward change. The water you're getting into has no salvific powers. You're not going to get in that water and come out with wings and a halo. It's a process. It's a very, very important sign to all in attendance that you, in fact, have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and that you are changing because you're going to slip, you're going to fall, but as long as you keep your hand in Jesus' hand, you'll be all right. But I also like to caution and warn you the devil is not happy about what's going to occur tonight. Each one of you will become a target if you haven't already been. This is not an easy road, especially for you younger people. God will work on you, with you, in you. Accept his will. Let's just get a hallelujah in the house. Come on and praise the Lord. Come on and give God praise and give God glory. From the great commission of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and upon your confession of faith in Him, we baptize you now, Pastor Richard, in the name of the Father, and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit and the people of God said, Amen. Give God praise on tonight. Oh.